We are the lab doctors. I'm Amanda. I'm Dorothy. And I'm Zhao Yong. We are biomedical researchers who realize we still have a lot to learn about science. So why not join us on this quest? Hey, welcome back to the podcast. On this Today We Discuss episode, we will be talking about intermittent fasting. Just a reminder, Today We Discuss episodes are the one where we've done the research and we are here to share what we have learned. Oh, but there's a twist today. We have our friend and fellow researcher, Viz, on the podcast to tell us more about this topic. So let's welcome our very first guest. Woo! Woo! Welcome, Viz. Hey, Viz. Hi. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Viz. <laughs> uh, I'm basically working on intermittent fasting. Yes. yes. So she's our resident expert today. No. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you're our very, very first guest. Yep. I am on it. <laughs> I was, I was just scared you wouldn't say you're on it. I'll be like, you have to say you're on it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we can get started on this whole topic. Maybe we can go through what is it, the definition of intermittent fasting. Wait, why are we even talking about this? Oh, uh, yes. Why, why are we even talking about this? I think for me, it's like, I gain a lot of weight <laughs> <laughs> research. I think I like research and there's no time to exercise. And then like, even the recent Chinese New Year, I keep eating a lot of bakwa. Mm-hmm. And then like, my husband is like, stop eating bakwa. <laughs> <laughs> stop eating anymore. <laughs> so like, will intermittent fasting help? That's why I was interested in this topic. Yeah. I think for me, it's uh, the other benefits of intermittent fasting because I've tried it before and it doesn't really help with weight loss but then I mean I've heard about things like oh mental acuity and Uh, alertness and basically just overall better health yeah Mm. I mean personally I've tried it before it's kind of fun no, not fun. fun. <laughs> you are I wouldn't say it's starving every yourself. Morning. I wouldn't say it's fun for the first two, three weeks. But after that, you, you get used to it. And then, yeah, but then I dropped off because I started eating breakfast. So okay. <laughs> what about breakfast? Beef? Have you tried um, it yourself? Yeah. Actually, I am trying it now. <gasps> so I'm like, whoa, it's a bit personal now. You know, now that I'm talking about it, it's like, uh. I really hope what I'm going to say next uh-huh. is going to happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... Um, but the reason I like it is because, you know, it definitely makes me, like Amanda said, yeah. it's, you know, the health benefits. You feel healthier. I think you that in healthier. itself. Agree, yeah. Psychological or not, it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it mind. does feel like, okay, you know what? I'm trying my You're best. Doing something. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah. Something, doing something rather than exactly. eating nonstop kind yeah. of thing. So, yeah. Okay, then <laughs> let's go into what's the definition of intermittent fasting. Okay, so. Um, Basically, as its name suggests, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fasting in an intermittent manner. Okay, that is in the <laughs> most layman thing. But basically, it's an eating pattern uh-huh. that alternates between eating and not eating. Mm-hmm. And you can do it, like there's different regimes which we will go through. But it's not a new concept. Like humans have been doing it since yeah. like when food wasn't very you abundant. Know, abundant. Yeah, 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 correct. So mm-hmm. in a way, we are like constantly in a fasting mode from a yeah. right. long time ago. Mm-hmm. It's just that nowadays, there's so much of food around. Yeah. And then you uh-huh. just keep eating. Oh, just <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> and like we look forward to lunch breaks and breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then at the same time, we are so like, um, we're so chill out as in we don't exercise. Yeah. 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 So both Lazy. together kind of made us have all these metabolic diseases like diabetes. Oh. Mm. So it's kind of like, it never was there. Like diabetes was never was there. It's like a re- is it a rich people disease? Sort kind of, of thing? like a maybe um, developed I mean, country. Yeah, yeah. Developed, yeah developed country, country kind of where, disease. Like yeah. there's no uh, shortage of food. Or yeah. yeah. So I feel like intermittent fasting is just a rebranding mm. of something that we actually already know right. from our Cave ancestors. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our cavemen <laughs> yeah. ancestors. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just that it's becoming trendy because that whole concept got lost along the way. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah, now yeah. that it's rebranded as, oh, intermittent fasting, yeah. and everyone's talking about it. Yeah. And, you know, it works and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. becomes even more popular. But it's nothing new, yeah. I would say. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So you were talking about the different regimes. Maybe we can go oh, into that yeah. and like, what hours do I have to follow? Okay, so basically there's different regimes. So if you look at research, there's... The most common one is 16-8. Mm-hmm. So you fast for 16 hours and you eat for 8 hours. And then there's the 5-2. Right. So you fast. 5-2? Yeah. So short? Um, no, that one is you, Sorry, eat, you, <laughs> you eat for 5 days. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 So the first one is an hourly, like a daily thing. 5-2 yes. uh-huh. is a 
weekly thing. Yeah. Oh. You eat for five days. Oh. The two days must be consecutive. No, you oh. can oh. change it up. Oh, yeah. Like for easier. example, yeah, Monday and then Monday and Thursday are your fasting days. Yeah, and then mm. the rest of the days you eat what you want. And just to clarify, during the times that I can eat, there's no calorie restriction. Meaning, I can just eat whatever I want? You or? can eat whatever you want. So, this is where it gets a little tricky, I think. Because mm. you can eat what you normally eat. Mm. But you can't overeat. Yeah. Because then that kind of goes against what you're trying to achieve. Which mm. is, you know, all the health benefits from fasting. Also, if you overeat, yeah. it kind of defeats the purpose, actually. Yeah. And if you undereat, that's another problem. Your body goes into starvation mode. So you should just do what you've been doing normally. Yes. So like recommended calorie intake. I think for for ladies, it's... Two, is it 2,000? Um, no, no, I think that's, that's guys. Too much. I think it's 1,008. Yeah. 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 Okay. So for ladies, it's 1,008. For yeah. guys, it's 2,002, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. that sounds correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you stick within that calorie intake yeah. per day. So the only thing you're changing is when when, when you're, you're doing it. Mm. But um. if you go overboard, you eat 4,000 calories a day, it's not going to work, you know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because your body will not go into fasting mode. Right. The point is to go into fasting mode. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And then for the times when I'm not eating, mm. what if like I eat a little bit like, okay, so water has zero calories, so I can drink water, yeah. right? Yes. But what if like I, because I normally don't eat breakfast, but I drink like honey water every morning. So that mm-hmm. has a little bit of calories. Mm-hmm. But is that considered that I'm intermittent fast? I think it's still considered as calorie. Like is there a well, limit to how much calorie calories, you can yeah. take during the time you're fasting? So the thing about fasting is you shouldn't yeah. give yourself any sources of energy. Okay. So mm-hmm. your body completely goes into fasting. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. your body doesn't depend on outside sources. Yeah. Rather, mm. it depends on whatever sources that you the have in your body, you yeah, yeah. which is stored. So, of course, there's no hard and fast rule. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. But if you go by definition, yeah. it would be you only take in calories during the feeding period. Um. But during the fasting period, you keep off of any calorie. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, I was reading that if you take zero calorie food, mm-hmm. so stuff like coffee, water, is fine. Yes. Because, I mean, coffee without sugar, without milk, yes. is fine. Yeah. yeah. Again, I think definition-wise, yeah. we would go for zero calories. That would be the best. Mm. Yeah, but of mm. course, if you're talking about... So that works for your 16-8 mm. because it's a daily thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So during your feeding period, you eat what you want mm-hmm. and fasting period you just keep away from the calories. Mm. Mm. But what if it's your 5-2 diet? You can't be zero calories for two days. Ah. Mm. So that's when you go into a low-calorie diet ah. for those two days. Okay. Or can I eat negative calorie foods? Well, yeah. Mm. Mm. So like cucumbers? Yeah, cucumbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you, if you starve yourself for those two days, then your body will be confused. Because you're not telling the body what to do. Yeah. Oh, are okay. you starving or are you fasting? Yes. Okay. So actually, your body is very sensitive and adapts according okay. to how you treat it, sort of, yeah. you know. So if you tell your body, I'm fasting, it will go into that fasting mechanism. Mm. Uh, but okay. if you start starving, then, you know, it defeats the purpose. Okay. Yep. Cool. Oh my gosh, I'm learning so much already. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like, the less you eat, the better. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, and I also thought, like, because a lot of people say you can just eat whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. During yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Which, is, which, which didn't make sense to me. According to the expert, it's no. false. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can go into what are the benefits of intermittent fasting. So, like, people generally have this misconception of it only as a health or diet fat, but maybe we can start with uh, metabolic uh, benefits of intermittent fasting. Okay, so basically what happens during intermittent fasting is that your body will use the storage that it has at first. Yeah. So it will use the glycogen storage, which is in your liver. It will start depleting it. But then at one point, your body will realize, oh, I'm not getting energy input, right? There's yeah. no intake. So then your body will start to shift yeah. towards using other sources of energy. The fat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so that's when your fat gets mobilized yeah. and then, you know, converted into fatty acids, so on and so forth. And yeah. then your fats are used as fuels instead. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where it kind of ties into weight loss mm. because mm. when you go into fasting, you mm. use your fats. Yeah. 
and you lose a lot of the weight from your fats actually yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so the primary weight loss comes from lose mm. loss of fat yeah oh, and is that why you shouldn't cause the starvation reaction because then you'll yes, start using then stuff. you'll start storing instead yeah. of using your fats uh, yes oh, yeah. yes that makes sense yeah, yeah. okay so oh. i mean that's just one of the benefits so in a way that links to the most popular reason why people yeah. follow yeah. intermittent fasting which is oh, the weight, weight loss, loss. Yeah. yeah but i think amanda you said it initially when you started the podcast that you know there's mental sharpness which is mm. true you know yeah. they do see that because there's increase in production of something called neurotrophic factors in the brain which oh. are neuroprotective yeah. so it protects the brain oh. so yeah so, neurotrophic factors <laughs> yes. you want to google that yes. <laughs> so that, how does it protect protect the brain so I think that goes into a bit of uh, scientific, but yeah. basically, basically what happens is when these molecules are expressed in the brain, uh-huh. yeah. it kind of will activate certain pathways that are beneficial for your brain. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. For example, there's this pathway called autophagy. Uh-huh. Uh, so yes. basically, it activates waste removal. Yeah. You waste know, process. Removal. Yeah, yeah, waste removal. So the timeline or the whole thing, what happens is when you do intermittent fasting, you have yeah. increase in neurotrophic factors, yeah. which activates a better removal, a waste removal system, yeah. and therefore more healthy cells, in which translates into better brain health. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Wow. Sounds great. <laughs> oh my yes. goodness. Yes. <laughs> You're convincing me slow. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, that's good. <laughs> any other benefits? Like- yes. So there's also benefits like reduced blood pressure. Oh. Mm. So that's been shown as well. For high and, blood pressure people. Yes. So actually all these that I mentioned can be for healthy individuals. Yeah. But uh-huh. how about disease people? So yeah, yeah, yeah. intermittent fasting has also been shown to be beneficial for people who already have disease. Yeah. So even if they start practicing intermittent fasting, they can actually reap the benefits mm-hmm. like diabetes. Yeah. So there's a study that um, looked into diabetes patients. Yeah. They did intermittent fasting for I think 12 weeks. Yeah. And they've shown to have better insulin sensitivity and stuff like that. In fact, majority, actually it's just three people. They tested <laughs> it on three. So two out of the three people yeah. um, could actually stop their insulin <gasps> medication. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah. Just by changer. intermittent fasting. Yeah, yeah. But this is, is there any difference between type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Uh, this was type, type 2. two. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but this is a very small cohort that they tested on. So mm. maybe it's not very safe for everyone to just jump yeah. into intermittent fasting. Yeah, correct. Generalize. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. um, not a nutritionist. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably you should ask your doctor and stuff like that. Yeah. But generally, you can get some benefits from intermittent fasting. So what about uh, intermittent fasting and the whole aging, how it delays or slows down aging? Yeah. That's oh, yes. one of the biggest benefits, right? Yeah, correct. So in animal models, it has been shown that intermittent fasting actually increases your lifespan. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, your maximum and mean lifespan. So taking reference from that, we can safely say that it's probably good for humans as well. But mm-hmm. there hasn't been any long-term intermittent fasting studies in humans yeah. at least. Mm-hmm. So in a way, we can only take reference from animal Animals. studies. Yeah. But what has been done in humans is they actually tested for um, different biomarkers mm-hmm. in your blood in mm-hmm. humans, mm-hmm. which kind of point towards yeah. a better metabolic profile mm-hmm. and therefore a better. possibility yeah. of better or longer yeah. life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, okay, so that's the good part about intermittent fasting. Are there mm. any side effects to intermittent fasting? Mm. So, if you suddenly jump into intermittent fasting, <laughs> definitely, you know, you're going to get things like headaches, nausea. And these are um, quite common because, yeah. you know, when that metabolic switch happens too quickly, mm-hmm. you'll kind of build up the ketones or like the different molecules in your body yeah. like too fast yeah. that it may actually be bad for you. So if you slowly start fasting, maybe you start off with 12 hours of fasting. Yeah. Oh. And then you slowly move to, you know, 14 and then stick to a 16-hour yeah. diet. Yeah. Once you do that, then you kind of reduce the side effects. Mm. But I think the major concern is that people who have eating disorders, I think uh, that's right. a bit tricky because yeah. you don't want to end up having an unhealthy relationship with food, oh. with intermittent fasting. So that is one of the bigger concerns of yeah. that. 
But side effects wise, it's definitely not as intense as calorie restriction. So mm. calorie restriction, there's some studies that show that bone mass density is reduced. Wait, what's the difference between calorie restriction and intermittent fasting? So there's actually no time restriction in calorie restricted oh. diets. Mm. You just reduce like, for example, you reduce your daily intake from 1,008 calories down to just 600 calories per day. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. It's like one third reduction. Yeah, but with intermittent fasting, you stick to the number of calories, yeah. but you just adjust the time that you eat, the mm. time frame oh. which you can eat mm. yeah, or can't eat. Yeah. Mm. So in a way, it's less depressing yeah. when you do <laughs> intermittent sure. fasting <laughs> because you, you're not stopping yourself. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, You can eat whatever you've been eating every yeah. day. It's just that you're kind of squeezing it within a certain time frame. Mm. And will there be like a plateau effect? So let's say I've intermittent fasted for like a month and mm. I've seen weight loss, for example. Will it like stop decreasing my weight over time? I think one month is still pretty short. short. Oh, yeah. really? So um, I think when we talk about... It's tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As in one month, you will see results. Okay. And even if you do it for two, three months, you may still see re- results okay. because... Three months is still considered short. When we talk about long term, we are talking ten years. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I haven't really lost any weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is, um, yeah, that is quite. Uh, but I mean, your body would it react to it? I mean, you know, like if I keep losing weight and I become acceptable weight, will my body keep losing even oh, more no, until I become no. anorexic? So bas- basically, no, no, you won't become <laughs> anorexic because I you mean, are like still taking, yeah, you're still weight. taking, yeah. yes, because you're still you're still taking daily calories as yeah. recommended. So oh. in a way, you're not depriving yourself mm. right. such that your body goes into, for example, starvation mode and then it starts using, let's say, your muscle tissues mm. to break down. Yeah. You know, I think for you oh. will, yeah. Sorry, I think I've read somewhere that your body has a set weight that is kind of optimal for you. So once you reach that set weight, actually, it's harder to fluctuate. So I don't know if that ties into whether you will stop losing so much weight because I think our body is quite smart in regulating yeah. all these things. Plus, mm. it depends on your your beginning state. You know, when mm. if you're already overweight yeah. to begin with, yeah. and then you start intermittent fasting you will see bigger difference yeah. as compared to if you're already in the healthy range. Yeah. You may feel different, but you may not see any uh, like I results, see. Okay. you know, okay. in terms of weight loss. Let's go a bit more into like, so you mentioned who, like intermittent fasting is for anyone. I mm. mean, almost everyone can try it, right? But maybe we can go into like, what about children and pregnant women? Um. Okay, so children, maybe yeah. not so because they are developing, they are, oh, you they're know, still growing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, they're right, still right. growing, you know, you don't want to stop them and, you yes. know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you <wanna> stop them. <laughs> you don't want to like stop me. them. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, in a way, as kids, it's important to actually um, have a good intake of yeah. calories yeah. so that, you know, you develop properly yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. rather than you bring forward the whole metabolism Metabolic issue mm. from young, you know, yes. if you start starving from young, mm. you will develop a lot of metabolic issues from right. young. Yes. Yeah. So, children, no, <laughs> you can't. So, yeah. like maybe above. Yeah. So a once you're age, adult, you know, adult, adult, one, eighteen, twenty-five. Yeah. yeah, I think eighteen is 18, a good number. Yeah. But, but can, again, there's no hard. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 But as long as you know, um, I would say safe would be adults. Yeah. So then within the adult, there's the young adults. Yes. Yeah middle and then there's the super old adults right (laughs) but um actually studies have shown that no matter what age you start intermittent fasting Mm. you will reap the benefits but maybe Mm. not so much you know like at an older if you start at an older age you will get some benefits but not as much if you had started it when you were younger right is is that the whole anti-aging process right if you are protecting from a younger age and there's less damage from a younger age yes, already. Correct. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. And yeah. then we go to pregnant women. Yes. Yeah. Because they I mean, when should, you're pregnant, you gain yeah. a lot of weight and some yeah. women are conscious of that. Yeah. I think uh, it's not advisable yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, to do intermittent Because your body needs nutrients. You have a parasite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I guess it's the same as children. If you're yeah. starving, you can't uh-huh. intermittent fast. Oh, I child. can't even like, my child inside can't grow properly. The unborn yeah. child. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I think pregnant women 
gain weight for a reason. Yes. In, you know, <laughs> like they have, yeah, correct. Thing, you yeah. know, they have to have um, more fats or whichever yeah. to kind of sustain sustain yeah. the whole pregnancy. Yeah. You know, mm. but even with pregnancy, there's some women get pregnancy induced diabetes, that kind of right, thing. Right. So. Mm. I don't know. Maybe after pregnancy, you can. Yeah, I think after do pregnancy, that yeah, healthier for your recovery. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I don't know. Then what about for breastfeeding women? Then should they attempt it? No, I think yeah. they fall under the whole the same yeah the same yeah. Mm, yeah. category. Yes, so mm. because they're still Produce. making producing and providing nutrients for yeah. a developing child. So yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, that makes so. sense. Okay, so Viz, do you have anything else that you want to add or any other burning things that you want to tell us about intermittent fasting? Um, I think I've covered pretty much. Yeah, it's very comprehensive. Yeah, I've learned a lot. <laughs> and yeah, like, okay. A lot of misconceptions on intermittent fasting have been clarified. Yeah. One month is not enough. <laughs> 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 oh, man, I really the commitment be. level that we need is super high. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just did one month and now I feel like I have done nothing. <laughs> Actually, will it reverse the effects? Like, if I do one month, will it help? And then, like, if I stop and then I do again, will actually, it cancel out the effects? Actually, okay, so there is a study yeah. done. Mm-hmm. And so you may, may mm-hmm. gain back the weight that oh, you oh, lost. Oh, so it's wasted. You have well, to commit for life. <laughs> um, no, no, it's not for life. But yeah. um, periodic is still okay. You know, yeah. you can do it, stop, do it. But... You may gain back the weight that you've lost, but a healthy weight gain. Yeah. It's not like, for example, you were overweight, yeah. and then you intermittent fast, you lose that weight, uh-huh. and then you stop it, you go back to your overweight yeah. level. You may not go that much, uh-huh. but you may have some fluctuations here and there. Uh-huh. The benefits that are inside you, yeah. in the cellular level, is going to stay. Oh, so, okay. in a way, you are priming your body to be more optimal, right? So mm. even if you do stop intermittent fasting, what you see outside is that, oh, I have weight gain. But the good thing is inside, it's still not too bad, you know? Yay. Oh, yeah. That's so there's great. still benefits. Yeah. good news for me. So, you know, maybe do intermittent fasting. Yeah, stop for a while, but get back on it you whenever. Get, yeah, mm. you know, to kind of like prime your body again. So my question is, how long have you been intermittent fasting? I just started. I just <laughs> did it two months ago. But oh, I lost so like really like, long. Like two two kg, two yes. and a half kg maybe. But you were a vegetarian like diet or something like that. You were eating salad. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so <laughs> I went I went on a salad diet. I think that is part under starvation because yeah. I had like just that one salad the whole day. Yeah. Yes, it was huge portion of salad, uh-huh. but yeah. it's probably like 600 calories. Mm, and uh-huh. then I gained weight. I was like, oh. okay, this is not oh. working. Yeah. So it's back to the whole starvation mode thing. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, now I'm eating as per normal. I'm yeah. not even trying to stop myself yeah. from eating certain types of food. And I mean, in two months, I see a 2 kg weight loss which is for me wow. personally very good you know yeah. I'm not even, it feels like I'm not even trying yeah, yeah, you get yeah, what yeah. I mean yeah. Yeah. yeah that sounds great and yeah. it's healthy because you don't want to lose 10 kg in one month that's All not right. that's, yeah. Scary. That's, that's, yeah, scary. that's not good for your body as well yeah. 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 so will you, you guys do intermittent fasting then? I mean I've made a challenge with my friend I'm planning to start up again next Monday which would be I March. mean first March but <sighs> Whenever this releases. Eight? Yeah, 16 8. Yeah, so I'll see. But I think Dorothy has already always been I, I don't know, like, yeah, for the past few years in my life, I only drink honey water in, in the, the morning. morning. Yeah. Mm. So I, I feel like I have been, maybe I'm mentally I think <laughs> primed already. Yeah, I don't actually, see weight loss. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe because I'm I think <laughs> underweight. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> underweight. <laughs> no, but I think most of us are doing some sort of intermittent fasting yeah. even without realizing. Mm. Uh, mm. But it's just that when you push your boundaries, like um, let's say if you already know you kind of fast for 12 hours a day mm. and it's all about telling your body, okay, you know what? I'm just going to fast mm. for an extra four hours. Mm -hmm. And that difference is actually going to change that metabolic Ah. um, profile of your body. So if you're already doing 12 hours without even realizing, then 12 hours of intermittent fasting is not going to work for you. Mm. So I have to always push myself. Yeah, it's very, um, yeah, correct. So, you know, it's very body dependent. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
I guess I can extend my hours and maybe on because on some days randomly you know, sometimes you meet friends and you're like I want to eat breakfast mm. Mm. then I break the whole cycle yeah. so maybe yeah. I have to like be more strict on myself to see more effects uh, okay the thought of losing breakfast is so <laughs> 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 okay anyway um, no you haven't answered oh <laughs> Amanda um, such a difficult question. <laughs> I think I'll try it for a month. Actually, I mean, if you like breakfast, you can still eat breakfast. Maybe skip dinner. Dinner. Oh, skip yeah. dinner. I like dinner. Yeah, I, I dinner. just like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I feel that breakfast is the easiest to um, mm. skip. I guess um, it's harder for me to fall asleep at night. Hungry. hungry. Yeah. yeah, but if I wake up and I just rush experiments, then maybe it's fine. I'll be distracted and forget about it. So, distracted by work. Yes. <laughs> I'll try one month, I guess. Yeah. I'll follow Chao Rong's yeah. like, Monday uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. If I have a friend, it would be probably easier. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's okay. just like exercise. Uh, it's always easier with friends. Oh, <laughs> yes. You should also <laughs> get back to exercise. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, guys, for listening to our podcast. And thank you, Viz, thank for you, being yeah. our thank first guest. Thank you for clap, having clap, 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 clap. Oh, clap. Oh, yeah. Clap. Um, clap. No, it's no. no. Okay, clap here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, no, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just learned how to use that function. <laughs> thank you, Viz, so much thank for you being our for very first me. guest. Yay. And as usual, do give us a like, a subscribe on both Spotify and YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or we are also now on Facebook and you can access the links from there. Oh, and if you have any questions about intermittent fasting or any other topic we've talked about, you can just DM us or email us at thelabdoctors at gmail.com. And for intermittent fasting, we'll pass your questions along to this. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Say Thank bye. You. Bye. 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 <laughs>